hi everyone welcome back to another youtube video today's video we're talking about winter coats and winter accessories and kind of the purpose of this video is just about having fun in the winter and with your dressing and with winter coats as you can see here i have a lot of bright colors and that's because i feel like in the winter time there is no written rule anywhere that because winter is dark and depressing that you have to dress that way if that's your style then by all means but i know for me i always felt like i had to dress a certain way because everyone else in society was dressing that way and to kind of give you a visual of what i mean i mean how everybody in the winter time wears like a just like a plain black coat and it's just a sea of black everyone blends in together and it's not very fun and it's not really showing your personality unless like i said that's like what you like to wear uh but this is what i'm talking about the black puffer coat and i'm guilty of this too i do own one for just in case i really rarely ever wear this anymore but there was a time in my life a couple years ago where that was what i wore every day in the winter and i didn't like it but i felt like i had to wear that and then once i finally kind of came into myself and realized like just dress the whatever the way that you want to and people will be receptive to that and they will be they'll, they'll see that you're happy and actually when you go out like this in the winter time and you're wearing something like a winter white or a bright pink or you know whatever it is they'll smile at you and it's just I don't know it, it just kind of like puts you in a happy mood in the winter and I think that coats are so important because obviously it's the first thing that people see and it's the item in your closet that you wear the most in the winter so that's why you want to have good ones that really reflect your outfit because I hate when you know you're wearing something like this and you have such a cute outfit underneath but sometimes you don't even take your jacket off at all and so nobody ever even sees your outfit so make the coat your outfit and not only that but you'll be a trendsetter trendsetter like believe me people will compliment you you'll get so many compliments when you wear stuff like this in the winter and maybe some of you guys already do by the way um and just yeah i don't know i mean i promise you like it's nothing to be scared about and you will be the trendsetter <laughs> different categories and types of coats so obviously you don't have to I'm not saying that you have to do like pink and white as your color scheme that's obviously what I like you might like that too or maybe a bright red is the color that you've been longing to wear in the winter or maybe it's like baby blue or like a pastel purple is really pretty or just whatever color maybe you like to wear all coats in every color of the rainbow I mean whatever it is um, just kind of pick one that is the most authentically true to you and one that you're going to feel amazing in and yourself in. And also, like, the reason why I pick this color scheme is because most of the outfits that I wear under the coats, <laughs> as you can see, is also this color scheme. So everything, I know that although these coats might seem like colors that are out of the ordinary, they actually go with all of my outfits. So. That was kind of something that I feel like is hard to get past, past to as well because every year I always thought like okay if I'm getting a new winter coat this year I have to get a basic one that's going to work with all of my outfits and this just always seemed to check the box. But <laughs> when you actually think about what you wear on a day to day basis, coats and other colors can still match that. Okay so that's the colors and then within the colors then we get into categories of coats. So I have like three or four main categories that I try to stick to in the winter time. So one is faux fur, the next one is wool, and then the one after that is shearling. And then also like this one at the end here is a suede one, but that's more for fall. The last one, or I guess the fifth one, would be a puffer coat. So sometimes you do like 
need to be super super warm not to say that i mean wool like real wool like especially like a wool cashmere blend is so warm and people people are like are you cold and it's like no i'm sweating under here like these coats can be warm and that's another like misconception too but anyways what was i saying <laughs> Yeah, so a puffer coat sometimes also maybe does feel like a necessity as well. I'm actually still on the hunt for one, so I don't have one to show you today. But I have one in mind, actually, I think I might be getting that's in more of like a beige off-white color. And it's a longer one as well, or like a mid-length coat for those like... I don't know, those days where you're maybe you're doing something more sporty or you're just like walking to the gym and back or something. <laughs> show you some of my coats so starting with the faux fur I have this one I think is and I got a lot of these coats this year by the way because I have been on the hunt for coats for so long it took me a long time to like curate exactly which ones I wanted in each category and where I've bought my coats from or that I've searched a lot is Topshop does really great coats each year ASOS of course also has a good selection this one here is like from French Connection I feel like they have nice coats uh, this one's from Aritzia. This one I got from Revolve. This one is also Topshop. And then these two, this one's Topshop but from Nordstrom. Zara. Uh, these two are both Zara. Zara does really cute coats in the winter as well. So yeah, those, that's generally where I tend to shop for coats. Okay, going into the actual coats. So this one is, this one is beautiful. This one is from LPA. And it was on Revolve last year and I wanted to get it. But I just wasn't, I just wasn't ready to buy it at the time. And so when I went to go look for it this year, of course it was sold out. And so I ended up having to buy it on Poshmark. So yes, I don't think that this one is available anymore, but I will link a similar one down below. But basically what I love about this is the fact that it's like, it's like a white white, like a maybe slightly off white, but it's like, a, it's pretty much like a snow white. And to me, this feels like a little bit, a little bit kind of like fancier in a way in that if I was wearing, say like a nice dress, in the winter time if I had like a nice event to go to this is the coat that I would put on top because something about it to me just feels a little bit fancier it doesn't have any buttons on it well it has these like invisible little clips it has like long sleeves which kind of come out like this as well this coat makes me feel like a snow bunny and I wore this when I was ice skating okay the next one is also a faux fur coat this is a beige so this is a little bit more of like a neutral than this one which is more white and this is from ASOS this is like a really great everyday coat I wore this all weekend and I'll just throw this on if I'm running to the grocery store or whatever and what I like about this one is that it's more of uh, a mid-length <laughs> I look like a penguin just backing up but yeah I think you can see here it kind of ends kind of like at the bottom of your skirt and yeah this is so warm and fluffy when i am wearing this out i feel like i'm wearing a big blanket in public it's that cozy so oh, and it's so 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 soft this coat is basically a dupe for another coat that was on asos last year that sold out immediately and like every single blogger had one and I just, I, I tried to find one. I couldn't find one anywhere. I think I found one on Poshmark and like, but somebody, but like the person is no longer active. <laughs> I don't know. But anyways, this is like the closest dupe to that one for this year's version. And I just think that it's so perfect. Okay, and then my third and last faux fur category coat is of course a pink one. So this is like my fun, like wild card coat. I wore this too fashion week uh last year and i just thought that it was absolutely adorable this is from top shop this is just like my when i'm feeling in like a fun mood and i really want to stand out i will throw this on because i don't know i feel like everyone needs just like a fun coat in whatever color i have seen a lot of girls wear this in like a blue and yeah it's just I don't know I love it it's just and this one is also uh, more of like a cropped length but yeah so in my opinion it's kind of like faux fur 
a really nice one for fancy occasions, an everyday fluffy one, and then a wild card. The next category, and actually I think maybe the most important category, are the wool coats. And I have one from Zara, and this is like, this is like my I am a CEO lady coat <laughs> because it's like a really kind of nice looking professional i would wear this to work or just any day that i want to look like i am 30 flirty and thriving but yeah so this is like a wool coat this is a wrap style so that's another thing too when it comes to the wool coats is there's lots of different styles so there's the wrap style which i prefer because it gives a little bit more of a feminine shape and a waist there's the open style which i have one as well which just has no buttons and you can just kind of throw it on there are wool coats of course that are more of like a pea coat with buttons so that's important to have one as well and this is more of a long midi length this one comes down to my knees so i just do kind of like a knot it looks really nice with a turtleneck very professional and yeah i think having just like a nice wool coat like this is really important and then here's my one from aritzia which is more of the open wool coat, coat style which has no buttons it's more of a throw on so this one is like a neutral but like the very very faintest light pink color very very casual it has pockets here so I kind of just like throwing this on running errands I've worn this to like lunch a couple times with um, I like wearing this one with my scarf just because it's open so doing it kind of like that just like all cozy and then I don't think this is that this is necessary at all <laughs> but I also have a pink wool coat that's a wrap style this one's from French Connection and by the way if you've got this one it runs huge I am normally a size medium and I swear this is a small but I swear I need an extra small it's just like huge but anyways yeah I like that I like this one because I loved the fact that it was two-toned of pink so yeah and you can even like roll it under here a longer coat it comes down to mid calf and I think that this is cute because you can kind of just like tie it up like this and just kind of wear it like that it's also really cute with like a scarf if you just kind of like tie it up all together with the scarf then you look really chic uh, I just feel like this is it's so adorable <laughs> and it's so cozy and warm I mean things that are actually like I said wool are just they really do keep you warm it's also a classic to have like a camel coat like a camel colored style coat ideally you would have one that's more structured and actually like a coat <laughs> the one that i have is this one from zara and this is more of like a sweater coat situation but i wear this in more so the fall time it's like this it's pretty long but it just feels like straight classy I don't know, something about this feels really nice, but yeah, a coat in this color is really, really versatile and very classic, a very classic, nice style to have, especially for work. So this pink one is, of course, from Topshop, and it sold out pretty quickly, so I actually found it on Nordstrom's site, and I got this because I was doing that Emily in Paris video, and I was so inspired by how she was wearing this bright pink coat and her hair was in a ponytail and she was buying flowers and I thought that it was just uh, really cute and so yeah I feel like this is definitely a statement but like it's adorable and I always always get compliments on this coat it's also super warm I've worn this to dinner multiple times here in New York like the heat lamps and I've just been so perfectly warm and cozy this does have a wrap here as well and buttons down it so actually yeah on each side if you want so this one is more of like that peacoat style look the two buttons okay and then the last category that I have to show you today other than the puffer coats which I told you I'm still looking for 
is Shearling. So I think that Shearling is really fun and cozy. This has especially been really trendy and popular in the last few years. So I have this coat from Topshop and it's like a biker jacket, but like more of a curly one. Like that biker jacket style, but in like a white off-white. <laughs> I just think that it's fun and different and more of like a texture quite cool because it has like little details here like a belt um you know the zipper down the front on the sides it also has that same like belt detail along the waistline and yeah it's just like that pretty kind of creamy color jacket <laughs> This one is another shearling. This is the one that I got from Revolve. And this one is like a pullover style. So it kind of looks like a sweatshirt. It's got these pockets here. This is more one that I would throw on if say I was walking to the gym. If I was going for a walk, I'll wear this. It doesn't help that I'm wearing a turtleneck underneath, but this is a much more like, like big and bulky. <laughs> really, really warm. <laughs> so this one I'll throw on with a pair of like nude colored like faux leather pants or just like I don't know anytime in the winter time I guess if I were I imagine myself wearing this if say I was at a friend's house and they were having a, a little, little like bonfire outside or something and we were just like you know sitting there on chairs you know next to the fire um I would probably put something like this on yes and then this is definitely more so for the fall time this is like well, it's not real suede, but ideally it would be more of just like, you know, a suede sort of jacket. I feel like this to me feels like, I don't know, like sophisticated city girl sort of vibes. Um, this I just got from Nordstrom. It was really cheap. It was on sale. Zipper here on the sleeves, which is fun. It's more of like kind of you know like a leather jacket looking style but pretty kind of like light brown color and yeah I love wearing this with like a turtleneck a skirt and boots I feel like it's just a really cute fall outfit <laughs> talk about winter accessories because when we are wearing things like this they are very cute and like I said they can be very warm but in order to like actually stay warm and not make you go running back to like the black buffer coat is to wear some winter accessories to keep like your head warm your hands warm your feet warm then you'll like actually be warm if your extremities are warm I like doing that by far as my head goes there's two main categories that I like that's earmuffs because they don't mess up my hair <laughs> and then a cute like bubble a hat with like a bubble puff ball at the top and then berets also I think are really cute first one is just a pair of white earmuffs I got these on Amazon I scoured up and down for a year for good earmuffs and these ones are almost perfect I wish that these two puff balls were slightly smaller but it's fine <laughs> um so yeah, so these are just earmuffs. They keep your if they keep your ears warm, and if your ears are warm, it's gonna make all of the difference, of course. I'll leave a link to these down below if they're still available. But the important thing to note when you're looking for earmuffs is don't get ones that are also fluffy like this on the headband on the top. Like if it's thick and fluffy on the top, it's going to look huge and um, really just not that flattering I found in my opinion um, so look for one that has like more of a thin headband and then of course the puff balls I also have these ones these are just for fun that I found at the Bryant Park winter market and they're pink with pearls which I think is just cute um, and so yeah it kind of looks like I guess if I wasn't wearing a hair clip kind of looks like you're wearing a pearl headband which I just think is so cute I mean like there's your accessories and you're keeping warm in one and then as far as hats go I think it's cute um, and so trendy recently to do one with a with a puffball on the top I know that people love huge puffballs or pom-poms but I just don't on me I just feel like 
I don't know, it's just too big and it's too much. So I love this one. I also got this at um, the winter market, but a couple years ago they had one in like Columbus Circle area or somewhere just right, right outside of Central Park. And I got it there. There's always like a hat seller and it's them. And so, yeah, I feel like this is cute too. <laughs> and I love the fact that it's like, Mine is like a knitted um, beige color with just a puff ball on the top. And then berets are something I've actually been trying out more recently this year. I feel like they've been really trendy, especially with like Emily in Paris coming out <laughs> this year. Yeah, I think that they're really cute. You can just, obviously they don't really cover your ears, so it's more so just keeping the top of your head warm. But yeah, they're very like Blair Waldorf. They can be really adorable. I, forget, I think I got one of these on Amazon. I'll leave links to them down below. And then the pink one as well is just really cute. <laughs> if you like can figure out how to style it correctly. And just like picture that with that. Oh, I think it's cute. Mittens and gloves. I say mittens because I love mittens. That's just, I don't know why, but my hands get really cold in gloves. I like need my actual fingers to be close together rather than separated to be warm for some reason. I got these ones when I was in college, so um, they're definitely not available anymore. But yeah, they're just like, they have like, they're just like a beige with little puff balls. And these ones I got recently at like a random sample sale. And they're like a white velvet, which I thought was a little bit more classy, kind of like I'm wearing white gloves. Kind of like they did in the olden days. Which to me just feels, I don't know, <laughs> like classy and pretty and like I like it. So if I was wearing gloves, I would throw these ones on and of course these match you know, with everything here, as do these and everything, so you can see that everything kind of goes together. And then scarves, obviously, my mom got this one for me a couple Christmases ago. I think it was from Victoria's Secret. Um, and yeah, just like a cute scarf. I also want to get just like a plain pink cashmere scarf. I feel like that would be really warm and cozy, but this one's more of a plaid which I think is just adorable for the winter as well. So yeah, I guess that is it. I guess the moral of the, of the story is just be yourself. You don't have to wear the puffer coat if you don't want to. There's so many good options out there, great places to shop, and keep yourself warm and cute in the winter and make winter feel a little bit less <laughs> sad. <laughs> but yes. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed this video and another little extra Thursday video for the week. If you did, don't forget to subscribe and check out the Fashion Squirrel. And hopefully I'll see you guys next time. All right, bye.